Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Well, we've got our audience back with us and my partner, John Coleman, and Bill Jordan, right, one of our favorite people. Bill Jordan, right? Right. <laughs> How you doing, Bill? I'm doing great, guys. I hope you are. Doing, doing fabulous because, Bill, I am willing to embrace the boom. Oh. I admit that I'm a baby boomer. And I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Well, you know, I just uh, I posted this morning on uh, social media, George Burns quote, you can't help but get old, but you can't help getting, or you can't help but getting older, but you can't help about getting old. You don't have to get old just because you're getting older. So that's the idea behind Embrace the Boom. Oh, it's okay. baby boomers if you were born between 1946 in 19, what, 64, 60 then you're yeah. a baby boomer. And I think that we still have stuff to uh, contribute to society. That's uh, just and, and, and if you were born a little bit before or later, you're still part of the tribe. Well, yeah, it's not a bad mindset to have wherever you are in life. Embrace wherever you are. I just focus specifically marketing-wise, it is for boomers. There you go. That we're marketing everything, aren't we? It wouldn't so, fit, you know, quite honestly, it wouldn't fit on the mug. Embrace wherever you are in life. I ran, I well, ran that's out what they have the other side of the cup for. I ran out of the mug. That would have taken. Oh. It would make me dizzy. Oh, it's all about life, isn't it? Life goes by so fast, you know? Well, it, it, it does. It, and that, that brings me to what I would like to talk about. So that was a very smooth segue, John. Thank you. <laughs> I came across an ad the other day. You know how the pop-up ads are if you're on Facebook or even if you're on Google, these things come up. Sure. Yeah. And it was a device. It was a device that promised a very effective, medically approved way to brush your teeth in 10 seconds. Okay. All right. It's this thing you shove it in your mouth and you just, I guess, do this a couple times and you're done. Hmm. And it's like, okay, you're saving. Mary and my wife gave us Santa brought for Christmas this past Christmas. This uh, uh, dentist approved our dentist said it was the best one to get, and it and it goes in two minute increments. It starts vibrating and lights start flashing after two minutes, or excuse me, not after thirty seconds, because they say you're supposed to brush your teeth for two minutes. So, thirty seconds per quarter of your teeth, right? Gotcha, gotcha. All right, so that's two minutes. All right, so if I'm brushing my teeth in 10 seconds, what am I going to do with the other one minute and 50 seconds? My, my point is we're, we're on this big kick about saving time, but saving time for what? I saw an, an app the other day where you can, if you love podcasts, as I do, you can listen to a podcast in 1.8 times its normal speed. So almost twice the normal speed, your brain will still understand everything, but you can get through the podcast more quickly. But again, what are we saving time to do? Good point. So now wait a minute, Bill, Bill, this isn't just this isn't just the perspective of a gentleman who's a little older, more mature, and maybe retired and doesn't have any cares about time? Do you think this perspective fits for people who are busy? Hey, I think it, it can. Look, I spent 40 years in a career where I was going at it all the time and I was busy all the time. And once I got into morning radio and doing morning radio the way I think you've got to do it, you've got to kind of always be on. And I'm not putting myself on a level with a, a Jerry Seinfeld, but Jerry Seinfeld in interviews will tell you a professional comedian has got to always be on everything. And his, his new book, a compilation of all of his bits, the book is like this thick. All of his bits are in it. And he talks about everything he looks at and experiences. Is this anything? Is there anything to this that I can make into something? So I spent 32 plus years doing morning drive radio where that was my life. We went somewhere, we were on vacation, we were watching TV, whatever it might be. I'm looking for something to talk about on the air. I think 
even in those times if you are still in an active career, or if you're like me and I'm semi-retired because I'm still doing voiceover stuff and, again, the purveyor of this Embrace the Boom movement, or even fully retired, I think there are times we just you just need to sit and be still. In, in almost every religion, there is a practice or a preaching of, at some point, about just being still. In, in the Bible, be still and know that I am God. And I saw another quote the other day, being still is not the same as doing nothing. It's just, maybe you're just being still, you're slowing down time, you're slowing your breath, you're gathering your thoughts. I think that's a that's a great way to, I mean, think about it. Mahatma Gandhi said, there is more to life than increasing its speed. Right? I like that. I like that. Yeah, and, and uh, you know, as you said, the, the, you know, brushing your teeth in 10 seconds, w what does that get you, really? Uh, I don't think they're selling, telling you your teeth are going to be cleaner. They're just saying you're going to do it faster. You're going to do it faster. And so, yeah. again, well, what do we So what do we save it for? What do I see all the time on social media? And I get in these big debates about it. Everybody, well, especially since COVID, binge watching TV shows. Is that what we're saving time for? <laughs> Watch three or, three or four episodes of The Crown tonight. Is that what we're saving all this time for? But Phil, Phil, Phil though, I, I think that uh, you're missing the point. I probably okay. am. Uh, here, here's, a, here's a point that I see. Do you okay. think you were alone in this feeling? Okay, so a couple of things. First of all, an observation and then a point. The observation is that that device you have, why don't you reread the instructions? It may have said 10 seconds per tooth. <laughs> okay, and if you govern it, then you're done with it. But the truth of the matter is, the way I, I want to interpret it, because I know the old philosopher, Bill Jordan, okay, would might agree with this, is that because you don't waste time brushing your teeth, you have so much more time to embrace the boom. Oh, and what better way than That's embracing sneaky. it is That's with sneaky. a warm cup of Joe, <laughs> okay, on your deck, or looking out your window. So. I think that perhaps there might be another way of looking at this. What do you think? Well, I, I let me give you another perspective, Bill, oh. and that is that's the opposite of arts, because after all, art and I rarely agree <laughs> on much. Um, and that is that, th that we should enjoy those two minutes, not rush through them, but those two minutes of brushing your teeth. I don't know if Gandhi said this, but they would be, they are part of life's experience. You should enjoy brushing your teeth. You should brush up, brush up, brush up, new white pan. I'm sorry, I got carried away. It was an old commercial. But you you should, enjoy, that's an experience. Two minutes of brushing your teeth. You should feel those molars. Well, I mean, what you're talking about is a meditative practice. Okay. I mean, you know, we brush our teeth. We're thinking about we got to get to a meeting. We got to make a couple of phone calls. What's our thing to do today? But instead of simply just feeling for two minutes, you're brushing your teeth. I'm feeling that vibration of that that electronic toothbrush that we've got. <laughs> and who would have thought back in the day? Oh yeah, they're going to have this thing that plugs into the wall that charges your toothbrush, and you don't have to do this anymore. Even though I still do that with the electronic that's vibrating, I'm still thinking I'm helping it. Yeah. By doing yeah. this. But it is a meditative thing, and I, I've adopted that a little bit, too, if I'm painting something on the front porch or painting the front steps or something. Uh, and I used to always have to have music going or a podcast going. And I'm finding now a little bit more that I'm doing them in silence. Interesting. And just let my thoughts come and go. And just and be enjoying the stillness. Be present. Just be present in what you are doing. Yeah. Yeah, because including brushing your teeth. Talking about we try to save time by multitasking. Who am I kidding? I, I walk into the kitchen, get it, look in the fridge, and I forget what I was going to look for. How do I think <laughs> that I'm going to be able to, you know, couple keep keep a couple of two or three plates spinning at once? So I've got to be very focused on what I'm doing. I can easily say, okay, I'm going to watch one of John's and Art's uh, celebrating uh, Act Two uh, videos on YouTube, and I'm going to check my email. Well, before long. I'm not doing both at the same time. 
Well, right. uh, by the way, uh, speaking of uh, going to Celebrating Act Two's uh, YouTube site, you could also binge watch uh, uh, the old philosopher, Bill Jordan. Bill Jordan, uh, and his Embrace yeah. the Boom playlist. But yes. I think you, we're getting a little you, long in the tooth. Yeah, you can do that if you want. We're, we're getting a little long in the tooth about brushing our teeth. So yeah. why don't we ju just spit it out? Well, and... let's, leave, let's leave with Mahatma Gandhi. Give us the Mahatma yeah. quote again. There is more to life than increasing its speed. That's slow, a good quote. It's a good... Uh, slow down. Something to mull over. Yeah. Which, so, which by the, the way, by definition, mulling over means not going too fast. There you go. Yeah. Well, so, anyway, it's always a pleasure to have to, oh, to be back with you guys and chat. My with pleasure. You. I'm holding up my mug and I just my little my little mantra of live your life, forget your age, and embrace the boom. If you want to check this out or direct links to my YouTube videos, I'm at Bill Jordan Embrace the Boom dot com. There you go. Amen, brother. Good to see you again, Bill. And Great. thanks for the Mahatma quote. See you guys. Okay, and uh, now everybody, as soon as we sign off, go brush your teeth. <laughs> for more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life. <laughs>